let's have some beer. What you going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we have got another can of beer out of the frickin' Cross the Nation collaboration pack that really didn't show up here nearly as early as it should have. Uh, this is a can of Meal Trout by Central City Brewers and Distillers in collaboration with Yellow Belly Brewery out of St. John's, uh, Newfoundland, coming in at 5.2% ABV. This one, a cream ale, this should be able to sit for a little while. So, hopes are a little higher with pretty much everything left in there than the ones that I've had up to this point. Every single IPA was basically uh, liquid poo. And um, yeah, there's like some different loggery, stouty type things in there now that hopefully are gonna be okay. So let's crack this one open and let's see what we have got. That cream ale by Magnata that my buddy Justin got me. That was one of the best beers I've ever had in my life. So please be tasty, thumbnail. Basically clear, chill haze is on there though. It's, it's pretty much crystal clear, nice little stream of carbonation flowing up the middle. Nice, tightly, tightly packed foamy head. That smells all right. It's got that kind of creaminess in the smell. That, no, that's, I know that's kind of weird, but I smell this, I think creamy. Let's give her a shot. It's not bad at all. A nice kind of little bit of a little bit of a sweetness off the hit off the top, and then just kind of rides off into the sunset. Really nice and easy drinking. It's about time. Let's do this. Uh, cheers, everybody. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that beer. That's pretty good. What are you at? This is it, bae. Conceived in Newfoundland and now setting sail, this East Coast, East Coast Cream Ale is as unique as the island tongue. And then that's in French. Wow. The island tongue in French is even more insane. Water, malted barley, wheat, corn, hops, and yeast. Corn. Mildly random. And then the stupid frickin' date code from hell that I hate so much. Yellow Belly Brewery or something? That was the website. Well, well yellowbellybrewery.com will bring you to yellowbellybrewery.com. Check them out if you're way out there in the East Coast, T. Eh? Yeah. It's not nearly as, like, it's not, it's not tasty. It's very, very passable, palatable. I can't really say anything bad about it, but it doesn't have anything that I would describe as really good flavor going on. As opposed to that Magnata Cream Ale, that was, like, flavor on top of flavor on top of flavor with more flavor sprinkled on top. It was outstanding. This isn't bad. <laughs> Again, this is uh, another kind of good, decent gateway beer. I'd, I'd, I'd suggest not, if you find the uh, six pack, the out or back east six pack, don't buy that. Look for, uh, if you're near the actual brewery, go to the brewery and buy it from them. Give all of your support to Yellow Belly and not so much Central City. Cause yeah, this overpriced, underperforming this not so much this I can't really you know make a conclusive statement on the entire 12 pack yet but I guess yet last year's 12 pack it was like the the apple of beer overpriced not really all that many features going on drink it because you think it makes it look cool look at me and drinking my across the nation collaboration pack I'm so cool no no you're not
not so much. There's a smoked stout I'm kind of looking forward to in there. There's a, I think it was a salted caramel lager or something. There's a couple decent sounding beers in there, but regardless, if they were tall boys, I'd say maybe decent deal at that point. Because, you know, average just over three bucks a tall boy, three times six would be 18, so it was 15 then. But $15 for six small cans of beer? That's a little ridiculous, in my personal opinion. I don't know. Let me know if you agree with that in the comments. Like, It's basically almost $3 a can right there. Yeah. Stuff. Things. Words out of the mouth. Ah, uh, ratings. 1,018 ratings on Untapped with 3.51 out of 5. Beer Advocate has two ratings with a 3.77 out of 5 overall. And Stupid Rate Beer says 298 out of 5 when the two... Actually, this one actually might be kind of not that far off. It still is. It's still not right. There's a 2.9 and a 3.3. So it should actually be somewhere in the... 3.1 range, not 2.98, but it's not as far off as I've seen Rate Beer be. It still doesn't make any sense how that is so completely wrong when it's averaging. Uh, averaging stuff is not hard to do, Rate Beer web programming people. It's like, it, it, it's like, what, maybe third or fourth grade math they teach you that shit? Come on! My god. I just hear up there. I don't know. I'm hearing, I'm hearing noises from the outside. Yeah. Not something I would buy again on its own. I have to say, if I'm honest. But, you know, it's not bad. They're just, there's a lot more impressive beer, play, beer flavor. Beer flavor profiles, I think is what I was going for there. Beer flavor profiles that I prefer to put in my mouth. It's just the way it is. Uh, doing pretty good time-wise. Yeah, I'm not going to be crazy, though. That's better. I'm just wondering if anybody actually said anything positive or negative about this stuff. Is good. Oh, I don't tap people, man. I tell you. More. Okay. Okay. This person's on crack. Maxime L says more like a soft IPA than a cream ale. Are you freaking kidding me? There is absolutely zero IPA quality in that. Maybe if maybe when it was super fresh, was it hopped? It shouldn't. A cream ale should not be hoppy. That's just really, really weird sounding to me. Interesting place to end it. Drink number the last. Also, Maxime, the picture you put up, that is an old, old keyboard in the background. The computer keyboard from like, I don't know, 1985 in the background there. Wow, might be might be time for an upgrade. Yellow Belly, in collaboration with Central City, your meal trout, East Coast Cream Ale. Rating, seven. It's not bad. It's not great, not bad. It's in that range. So, you know. Let me know if you've had it in the comments down below, and we'll go from there, because that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, then smash the like button in his face, and if you want to see more, then smack that bell notification after you subscribe, and you'll be made aware when new videos are published. And I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A piece of... I think I yelled at my beard at some point during this vlog. That could possibly be a fun outtake. 
Maybe. We'll see. Why the fuck can't you just be non-mentally retarded, Beard? Christ! It's the dumbest thing in the world. I hate it. I'm gonna fucking burn you, burn you off my face. Bullshit. <laughs>